the Sony ZV-E1 is the perfect camera if you only need to shoot 30 second TikTok videos. This thing overheats faster than my laptop running Cyberpunk on max settings. And since I refuse to accept defeat, I bought two cooling fans to bully my camera into submission. Did it work? Let's find out before my wallet stages an intervention. One thing to note about both of these fans, you probably want to use an external microphone rather than the internal microphone on the ZV-E1 because these are both quiet to your ears, but very loud to the camera's microphones. If you use an external microphone, you're probably not going to hear it at all, and you can just cancel it out in post if you do. First up is the Ulanzi fan. It's cheap, it has a built-in battery, and it looks like it means business, but it's also open air, like cooling your laptop by blowing a desk fan at it. Here's how it held up. At 4K 24p on the low speed, I got two hours before the temperature warning light came on, which is, you know, pretty respectful. At 4K 30p, with the fan on the high speed setting, I got 30 minutes before it shut down from overheating. Yikes. At 60p, also on the high speed setting, I got an hour and 10 minutes before it shut down. So, you know, a little inconsistent, but I'll allow it. At 4K 120p, I got eight minutes out of this thing. Eight minutes. So, I mean, it's not useless, but if you're shooting above 24p, this fan is basically emotional support. Now the small rig. This thing is serious. It's got a heatsink backplate, it needs external power, and it looks like it was designed by NASA. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. At 4K 60p with the fan on low speed, there was no overheating after two hours, which is incredible. I then went on and did a live stream test, also at 4K 60p, for three hours, and it did not overheat. The temperature warning light never came on. At 30p, with the fan on the low speed setting still, I got six hours and then I just ended the test because it was clear it was not going to overheat. One more thing to note, I just removed the fan and after six hours, this portion of the camera is cool to the touch. This portion over here is warm, but this portion is actually cool. So that's pretty impressive. At 4K 120p, with the fan on the high speed setting, I got 18 minutes which is still not great, but it's better than eight. And do you really need 18 straight minutes of 4K 120? Probably not. I didn't bother testing at 24P since it never overheated at 30 or 60. This fan works. My camera went from I'm tired to I am a machine. But yeah, you need external power. So if you're a run and gun shooter without a battery on your rig, this one might not be for you. I shoot in a studio, so I always have power nearby. So which one wins? If you need battery powered cooling and mostly shoot 24P, the Ulanzi is fine. But if you want to murder overheating forever, the small rig is your guy. Just know that it looks like you're filming a SpaceX launch. Personally, I'm keeping the small rig. It fixed my overheating and it gave me an excuse to buy more gear, which is a win-win for me. As for you, Ulanzi, thanks for trying. Maybe next time bring a heat sink. Moral of the story, Sony could fix this with a firmware update, but until then, we're out here MacGyvering solutions. What about you? Sticking with ice packs? Praying to the tech gods? Let me know in the comments, and if you want more dumb fixes for expensive problems, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.